it's teacher Heidi. I'm here at Constellation Park and as you can see I'm wearing my mask but since there's nobody around and I'm outside I'm gonna take it off so you can see my face. Today we are going to do some exploring. We'll look for tide pools and look for so many organisms on rocks and in the water and all around the beach. It's going to be fun. We're going to need to use our eyes and look down and watch where we step because there are thousands of organisms everywhere. You can study the intertidal world wall and see some of the things you might find at the beach. I wonder what we'll find. If you have a dog, we'll have to make sure to leave your dog at home when you explore the beach. Friends, when you're at the beach, walk very carefully because there is life all around you. Here we can see barnacles and rockweed. These barnacles are called sessile barnacles. And here you can see a limpet. And down here is a sea anemone. When you're walking on the beach, be really careful where you step because living creatures are even on the ground. Friends, take a close look. This is an aggregating anemone. How many aggregated sea anemones can you count in this view? I wonder what we can find among the rocks. Friends, look, it's a shell. Inside is a living creature. It's a mollusk, a species called wrinkled purple. It's beautiful and we remember to just leave it where it is. Here's Kaya, I wonder what she sees. Wow, friends, what do you see? Wow, friends, look at the sea star. Here's a sea urchin. Here's a rough keyhole limpet. How many wrinkled purples do you see? I see one, two, three, four, five. Wow, it's way back there. Do you see any more? Six, seven. I counted seven, but maybe you see some more. Friends, I spy something purple. Do you see it too? I see one, two ochre sea stars. Wow, they are beautiful creatures. Here's Kaya doing some photography at the beach. She discovered A werata anemone. That's a species that we haven't seen today. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kaya. Hey, friends, look, there's a werata anemone way back there. Friends, look closely. There is a chitin. It's hanging on the bottom of this rock. It has ridges and is a darker brown in the middle and a lighter brown on the outside. Do you see it? Hey friends, do you see something orange? It's an orange sea cucumber. Friends, what do you think this is? Do you see something orange? 
it's another orange sea cucumber. Here's another wrinkled purple. It's funny that it's called that because it doesn't look purple. I spy something blue. Wow, look, it has ridges. Oh, does that look like something you saw hanging upside down from a rock? That's right, it's a chitin. Remember friends to leave everything you find at the beach. It's part of the ecosystem. Well friends, what do you think this might be? I think it's the back of a kelp crab. There it is, now you can see it better. It's a kelp crab, minus the rest of the body. Do you remember what this is called? That's right, an aggregating anemone. We can learn a lot from Seattle Aquarium naturalists. Perhaps we'll be able to attend a program this summer. The aquarium says that you can touch gently with one finger, but it needs to be wet with seawater first. We don't have any seawater around us right now, so we'll just look. You can have fun looking for interesting rocks too. This is a heart-shaped rock. Hi friends, look, what do you see? It's a purple shore crab. Sometimes you have to look really closely and watch where you step. This is a yellow shore crab. Friends, do you remember what this is called? Rockweed. Hi friends, the tide is now coming in, so it's time to go. We'll make our way carefully back. Hi, I'm Kaya. Did you know that sea stars are keystone species? That means that if they're taken out of their environment, the whole ecosystem will be disrupted.